Most nano banana tutorials show you the absolute basics, but here are the eight use cases that almost nobody is talking about, and they're either draining your time or could be making you more money. Things like changing image aspect ratios for social media, generating quick mockups for clients from your sketches. Each one is a 30 minute task that businesses desperately need done. The question is, are you the one stuck doing them or are you the one getting paid to do them? After spending over three days figuring out what it's capable of, I've distilled everything down to just eight methods that either automate this work inside your business or become services that you can offer to others. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which method to use for each situation, whether that's scaling your own operations or building a side income stream. Plus, I'll show you real examples of how others are already making money from these exact methods. So let's start with the first method, outpating. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Simon. This channel is where we ditch manual work. We build real automation systems that save you time and let you scale with systems instead of scaling your headcount. So if that's the kind of content you enjoy, make sure to subscribe below. So you've nailed the product shot, the perfect lighting, clean composition, totally on brand. Then you need it for something like a billboard instead. Same image, but totally different dimensions. So outpainting or canvas extension is just asking why reshoot when you can just actually take an existing asset and expand it using AI. So this is repurposing creative assets across multiple platforms. And you know those annoying jobs where you have one image that you just need to expand to fit a certain format nano banana is able to actually infer those and there's a trick to this you can't just tell it do it in this aspect ratio that won't work and i'm leaving all these prompts in this document as well which will be down in the description below so you can try these out for yourself we're effectively putting in two images one's going to be the shot that we want to outpaint or expand and the second and always the last image is gonna be the aspect ratio we want to paint to. So as an example, we'll go into Google AI Studio, which is where you can open up the chat windows, copy this prompt, and we'll paste it in here. So redraw the content from image one onto image two. At the same time, completely remove the content of image two, keeping only its aspect ratio, make sure no blank areas are left. So we can upload two images here. Let's take this image of a dog here, and I've downloaded in advance a 1080 by 1920 aspect ratio image here. So it's just a transparent image, but we're gonna use that aspect ratio on this dog image. So keep the dog in the center, expand the image to fit the vertical space. So actually we can see if we open this up, it's done spot on exactly what we've asked it for. It's taken the aspect ratio of the second image and actually outpainted the field onto this dog image. And why would you care about this? Well, two reasons. You might have to do this as a one-off job in your business. And um, it's actually incredibly annoying and painful to do this manually. Well, the second reason is you might wanna sell this to others. So here's three examples of other businesses who are actually using AI to sell this to others. So we've got Pixel Cut, which is free AI outpainting, does exactly the same. It's just a prompt on the back end. We've got getimage.ai, zoom out images with AI outpainting. And if we even look on something like Etsy, we've got the merging of multiple photos into one. And you can see that there is demand for this, 4.8 stars from 910 reviews. And that is just merging automatically photos like this. The second method is called brand DNA transfer. Brand consistency used to mean hiring the same photographer every single time but at rates like $150 to $300 per hour, that really adds up. So now you can shoot anywhere with anyone and make it all look like it came from the same studio. One reference image, infinite consistency across all of your images. This is particularly useful for things like ads, where you can actually mimic previous ad styles of your own or your competitors, as we can see here. And by the way, all of these images were generated using Nano Banana, so you can see how powerful when you prompt well, the outcomes can be and how consistent they can be also. So this might be useful for something like an advertising agency across multi-channel campaigns. So what we're gonna do is take two images like we've got here and apply the style from one to the other. And if you remember, it takes the aspect ratio of the second image or the last image we upload, so we've got to make sure that we keep that in mind. So let's take the prompt and we're not going to add any additional context here. It's just trying to try it with applying that visual style from image one to image two in the background. 
And an important lesson here, which I forgot already, is actually start a new chat window every time because you can see it's merged all of our products here. And we come back here, we've got the two images uploaded and it's given us in the same aspect ratio, bearing in mind this was a screenshot so it's not centered, it wasn't centered to start with, it's given us that nice tartan background and effectively merged or applied the styles to our ad. Now there are businesses making money directly from this. We've got Photo and OpenArt.ai, which both are effectively just this, style transfers. So smart prompting, cut on the front of a SaaS and advertise well and therefore making money from this kind of product. Now this one's really powerful because the best product ideas often happen in your drawings or sketches. But the problem is napkins aren't exactly stakeholder ready. So this napkin to prototype closes that gap. If you can sketch it, then actually you can present it to your clients or the investors, anything like that. So it's like helping a concept come to life, but digitally. So you go from a rough wireframe sketch to a polished dashboard mock-up here. And in my previous life as a consultant, this would have been so, so helpful. We were often showing clients sketches of what the dashboard was going to look like before we actually create the dashboard. We'll take this prompt, and this is super basic, turn this sketch into a polished device type interface with design style, keep the same layout and structure. So obviously this is, hasn't got headers or specific data tables, but it can go to that extent where you write down certain headers, certain data charts that you want to see and get that working for you as well. So open up a new chat window. We'll say iPad, colorful design, keep the same layout and structure from the sketch. Let's upload the sketch, run that. It's gonna come out in the same aspect ratio, don't forget, but hopefully it should be a polished iPad interface with that colorful design. And if you gave this much more detail, you could actually then present this to your clients. So you can see we had six boxes up here. We had some information down the left hand side. And we also had, you know, this chart in the middle. So if you look at this closely, you can see it's replicated that exact structure. Yes, it hasn't got the writing correct because there was no writing on there. But this is incredible that it can create that in like 20 seconds. And you bet others are making money off this as well, right? So we've got UI Zard, turn your product ideas into concepts instantly. So again, it's just entering a prompt and actually turning that into a concept. And Visami. So make your ideas look as good as they sound. Again, it's transforming things into dashboards that you can show investors, clients, your team. A slight tangent off this one is concept materialization. So when I was testing this out, this is actually incredibly powerful. It goes one step further, which is all about for product designers when they face the impossible pitch, do I spend $30,000 on a prototype we haven't built yet? Do I hire a 3D artist and wait for weeks of rendering? Or do I just put it into Nano Banana and get a sketch to render in 30 seconds? And where I can see this being really powerful is in something like pitch decks, where actually you haven't validated the design or the full concept yet, that you understand what you think it might look like, putting it into a sketch, and we take a product like this, and turn that into an actual realistic looking product image. So we'll take the prompts, we'll take the sketch, and we're not even gonna change with materials and with lighting, we're gonna make it just actually assume that, and you can change all of these in the prompts. It's just a simulation of what this could actually do for your business if you are a product design business. And you can see it's emulated the same style with a thin mouse, the wheel at the front, the buttons at the side, and it's even labeled it with certain things. Final production model, concept wide mouse, 40 mils, 70 mils, which are the dimensions we had on the original, and rechargeable battery. So it's made this look lifelike, and of course you can go in and edit that. So something like make it more angular and the color theme FE3E5A, which is an orange tint. So we've then generated an image that looks like this with, okay, it's slightly off on the tint. There's a bit of orange there, pink there, but it's a more angular shot with the orange tint. So we've taken it and we've modified it directly. The fifth method is scene surgery. So you've probably seen this most frequently. And this is where people are making the most money because product photos often cost 35 to let's say $170 each. They get rejected for silly reasons like, 
the shadow is wrong, there is a reflection in the background, or they want to change the scene or the aspect ratio. But scene surgery allows you to remove or add something that's wrong without reshooting it so that everything else is right. So we've got some examples of filling a vase with some flowers, taking away objects from a background here to make it a clean professional background. And you bet e-commerce teams are using this to clean up product photography by removing distracting warehouse equipment, shadows, whatever, without expensive reshoots. And the most powerful examples I see of this is actually adding or merging in photos. So again, we'll go to Etsy where you can see 1,200 reviews, five out of five, for removing objects from photos. This is clearly just prompting to edit out unwanted items from the photos. So people are actually selling this. You type in something like digital sketch and you can see again, people are selling changing styles or adding or merging certain photos like we saw earlier as well. And then you've got the examples of Adobe Photoshop with the generative fill and Canva now with Magic Edit. So there's lots of tools using this for specific use cases. And we've got four example prompts for you to try at home. The first is removing an object from an image and filling the space. So say we wanted to remove the fruit from here or we wanted to replace that fruit with some new object. Or say you wanted to put yourself in a picture with your friends, you could do that too. And it just takes some clever prompting inside Nano Banana to do these kind of things and maybe a couple of attempts, it's not perfect. So we can demonstrate with, with remove the object from this image. So we'll say remove the fruit from this image and it's naturally gonna keep the same aspect ratio. And you can see incredibly quickly, it's come and actually removed it and filled in the rest of the details around the image around here. Now we'll do the replace, replace it with a half lemon. And you can see five seconds later, there's a half lemon in there. So we can test different objects or assets in photography too. Now method six, fabric to photo shoot. So fashion buyers want to see the collection before you manufacture it. And samples cost hundreds to thousands. So fabric to photo shoot asks, what if a sketch and a material sample were enough to get funding. And it takes us from this fabric swatch or just a picture of it to actually a finished design that we can mock up for buyer presentation. So we've got fashion.ai and fashion AI tool, which are both AI tools about creating realistic images of clothes worn by anyone. And these services are making a lot of money and have the potential to make a lot of money by selling these to certain clothing brands as well. So we've got the prompt here and we've got a sample image of a dress. Turn this fashion sketch into a photo of the finished garment on a model. Use the fabric texture shown and apply to a realistic dress model shot. Keep the exact design from the sketch. And just like that, you can see this design here. It's effectively blue, light blue and white. And we've got this frilly dress with these accessories down it and immediately that's turned it into a concept i'm actually blown away sometimes by the outputs that you can produce and we can make this look a bit more realistic right now it just looks like a completely artificial shot but with better prompting you can get to that stage now the real estate industry is rife for disruption here traditional home staging or office staging can cost you you know 1500 to 5000 per month to kit out but empty office spaces are hard to lease. Outdated homes are often hard to sell. So Blueprint to Walkthrough is designed to turn floor plans into fully furnished 3D spaces for very cheap, very quickly. You don't need a staging crew. You don't need furniture rentals. It's effectively just a render without the time. You could see how if you built this out into a SaaS, you could sell this to commercial real estate brokers who market out unbuilt office spaces or even just real estate rentals. So the most famous example of this is just room redecoration. So interiorai.com, which actually earns $29,000 a month, created by Peter Levels, the one of the most famous indie hackers. It's all about actually designing rooms to a certain aesthetic. Again, we've got Etsy sellers selling architectural blueprints to 3D designs like this. And you can see 500 sales there or 500 reviews, many more sales. And we've got other SaaS providers as well. Take a sketch and ask it to create a 3D interior view. And then we add things about design style and furnishings. So let's add this image in here. 
So we run that through and it's given us this mineralist style that's actually rendered the room in a similar layout here. It might not be exactly the same. Oh, actually, it's very, very close, right? You see it's picked up all of the small features like the plant in the corner, the doors over here, the piano with the chair. It's actually done the incredible job of rendering that exactly to a T. So this is why this model is super powerful because actually it picks up the attention to detail that previous models lacked. And then the last method is photo restoration. So taking a damaged photo and restoring and adding color to it. It may seem like a strange side hustle suggestion, but actually people are making a lot of money from doing this. It's like bringing something from the 1950s into 2025 with color and then selling that as a service to other people. And you can see this being useful in even enterprise where we have corporate comms of the old founders that have now passed away put on branding for the company events, etc. So we've got these companies, Vance AI, an image colorizer, which you see do an AI old photo restoration. They even say it's AI here. And restore your old family photos and bring them back to color. So people are selling these. And again, there's always a market, super easy to set up on something like Etsy, with like photo restoration. You see all of these sellers selling hundreds, if not thousands of these to restore old photos. And all they're doing is just plugging this in to an AI photo generator. And now the photo generators are way better with Nano Banana. You can just do this by restoring this old photo to the modern day. So let me show you how powerful it is. And it's important to specify that you should keep all people and details exactly as they appear, but restore the old photo. Now, please note that sometimes this fails because it doesn't want to replicate a person, but you can see this time it's actually taken the details and added color to it. And it's even kept the same style where it's actually still a vintage photo, it's just added color to that vintage photo here rather than making it extremely unrealistic. Now those were eight methods that you could use today to start making up money from Gemini Nano Banana or just improve and speed up the way you do things inside your business. Now if you wanna see an actual use case of these, then one of the recent videos I launched was all about taking your competitor ads, applying a few of these different methods and taking their ads and making your own. So it takes the style, it takes the concepts and we actually deconstruct and create our own ads from this. So check out that video, which I'll link here as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content.